Welcome back, internet viewers around the world and uh, in my home. I'm here to open a runaway Steamkin. I don't think we're going to take that guy. Maybe we take that guy. That guy's actually very good. Is it better than Luminous Bonds? Maybe. Is it better than the Dev Champion? Maybe. Just eat on stream. People love that. I can barely drink on stream without people complaining about it on YouTube. It's very comical. <clears throat> Run away, steam can never coming back. Getting counters when you play a ransom. Your humorous hat has left the cellar facility and is on its way to your house. <laughs> oh, God. I have no idea what to expect. This is going to be amazing. I think it's probably this guy. I like Luminous Bonds, but I think it's probably Steamkin. If we want to be Boros, that's a good dude. It's probably just Rampaging Monument here. I don't really want to commit to blue just with a maximized altitude. Uh, we can also take Capture Sphere or Electromancer, but I think it's probably Rampaging Monument. Josh, have a good night, buddy. <clears throat> Turn your dryer on. Yeah, the people love the dryer. That's actually a... People are a big fan. I'm going to go with Monument just because I think it's... Uh, it was a little more open here. We could take the Deadweight and just ignore this guy. I think Deadweight's probably one of the better picks in this pack. It's probably the best pick in this pack, to be quite honest. God, are we just going to be black-based again? <clears throat> I'm going to take the dead weight. Yeah, it's going to be dead weight. Maybe we just took Steamkin for that sweet, sweet Steamkin money. He's worth two tickets. That's not nothing. Chromatic Lantern. Oh, biscuits. I feel like District Guide is just better than Chromatic Lantern. Deadly Visit. Oh, buddy boy. Oh, buddy boy. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this Deadly Visit. I don't think it's District Guide. I think it's Deadly Visit. Yeah, it's Deadly Visit. All right, so I'm pretty okay with the the black cards that are coming. We can also take Pitiless Gorgon or Capture Sphere. Hmm. I'm going to put you in the sideboard for now because the red cards are not looking. They're not looking great here. <clears throat> I kind of like Pitiless Gorgon here. I think it's just a better card than Child of Night. I don't think we have to go blue here for any of these things. I'm just going to take the Pitiless Gorgon. It also triggers a Rampaging Monument, which is not nothing. I think it's just uh, probably Severed Strands here. Yeah. Seems like an easy pick here. Gorgon as a kill spell. I agree with you. <coughs> is a kill spell is what you said. Not as a kill spell, but is a kill spell. Wow, this is a late Ledev champion. Well, this is... Seventh pick? Seventh pick Ledev champion? Does the one in the next pack come back too? Because that's pretty good if it does. Also, this is a late Skylight. I'm going to take this guy. And hopefully... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully the, the ninth pick one will also come back. Golgar Guildgate seems better than either of these. Abzan is definitely a thing we can do, especially with a creature that makes free dudes. Uh, the next set has to be Ravnica. It is. It is Ravnica. They've said it. And um, it's going to be the next five guilds that are not contained in this. Of course. Like, of course. Of course. And take Guildgate. <clears throat> there it is. Wow. I can't believe this guy came back. This guy's very good. Easily splashable. Now there's going to be a Celestia Guildgate here. There it is. Told you. Nailed it. Is that better than a shield mate? 
probably. No, not really. I like shield mate. Oh god, I don't know. No, we can get more shield mates. I'd rather just take an on color guild gate. These are the these are the tough picks. I like shield mate because it lets us play. It's obviously a green creature we can play, but it also lets us play uh, like rose main centaurs without having a white source. It's kind of elegant that way. <clears throat> I'm dying here. I, my throat is all scratchy and I don't know why. Saratok is a card that I'm never thrilled about, but I'm always I, I don't I never mind playing this card. <clears throat> the fatal toe stub, thankfully I have uh I've recovered. Rumors of my toe stub death have been greatly exaggerated. Oh my god, this distro guide came back? Oh my god, these people have no class. <clears throat> and this is the Rosemain Center we were talking about. This guy's very good. Hitchclaw Recluse? Sure, that's a sideboard, gentlemen. Is Abzam stronger than Sultai? Um, no, I don't think so. But, I mean... <laughs> If you get the right cards for the deck, yeah, it is. If you don't get the right cards, then no. <clears throat> uh, it's hard to splash black when you have Deadly Visit and a one-drop black card. But I see what you're saying. Like, I don't, I don't think we're committed to either way right now. We have three black cards, three, three white cards. Like, I don't think we're... I have no idea how District Guide wield. That's actually unbelievable to me. <clears throat> so. Yeah, it's not going to do it. No, sir. It's not gonna do. It. Do we do, do we now just abandon the the white and go uh, absultai ab absultai? We could also play lava coil. I mean, this is double white, but it is a removal spell for a white deck. Hmm. This pack is not good. You are correct. I mean, I was just a crushing canopy. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> but I think response is probably better. I mean, we can just play this. We can play the deal five to attacking or blocking guy, and that's pretty good. <clears throat> I don't think it... <clears throat> I don't know why my throat's all scratchy all of a sudden. I'm literally drinking. I don't... These, these packs have been not good. This is also not great. Another Sky Knight Legionnaire, a Discovery Dispersal, not great. What up, Force Pitch Force? <laughs> Taco Spurs. <laughs> Could just be another Severed Strands. The white cards suck, the green cards suck. I'll just take the Severed Strands. I'm not excited about a third pick severed second pick severed strands. Oh boy, these these packs. Oh, the old bird horse sword singing lady, a classic. <clears throat> we do want two drops here, so I think it's probably just Vernadi. Vernadi Shield Mate. It's from the Italian. Everybody knows that. Little Dev Champion number three. There's like a dog barking outside. I think it's actually Hunter's probably like, what the f what is going on, dude? Do I just take third Ledev champion? Pro I mean, it's probably better than any of the other cards in this pack. Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> we probably could have left it. It probably might have wheeled. I, I think it's whatever, but I don't think there's a better card that... Uh, Hunter's not outside. Hunter would never be outside by himself. I am not that kind of dog dad. 
They also all trigger the Rampaging Monument, so... I don't actually have any idea what's going on with these packs. I would not be surprised if we lost this draft. <clears throat> oh, Bounty of Might. Alright, so by people not taking the green cards, we're ideally going to get rewarded at some point, and this is a good... This is a good hit. Also, with three Ladev champions, it's very easy to make one ones and then Severed strands them to uh, to get some value off of that. <laughs> Another district guide, huh? Well, it's like the best card in this pack. I will take a second district guide. Good deal. Thought it was a typo the first time I saw a bounty. Yeah, you're like, wait, why does it say it like this? Oh, I see. Because I can choose three different guys. What sound does Grun make? <laughs> I feel like this is not gonna not gonna end well for me. Celestia Guildgate is a good one. Ten Hunter or Riot Bits. Hunter is actually on the bed right now biting his nails. That's his life right now. I can hear him. <clears throat> eh, Sea Drum's fine. I'm not excited about it, but it's a it's a guy that I'll use, I'll gladly play. Fade Eurysum! I didn't even see it. That was 25 minutes ago. Couldn't check out their stream Steam Stream Labs. Weird, so I upgraded my sub instead. And thanks, Frank. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, I'm telling you what to do, dude. Franconic Disciple, really appreciate it, buddy. I didn't even see it. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> that was not intentional. Oh man, I would never do that on purpose. I'm going to close all these matches that just insist on staying up. Let's actually get our pick for... Oh, Crushing Canopy came back. That's pretty nice. I guess we can play this if we're heavy white. I don't know or heavy anything. Nobody bits like I bits bids. <laughs> wow, you're a real son of a bits, Brian. You're a real son of a bits. Is this the uh, singing sword bird lady? Yeah, I think this card's probably fine. <clears throat> oh, the world, world Soul Colossus just comes back. So does Peeless Gorgon. <clears throat> My throat's eventually going to clear up, I promise. I uh, don't know what's wrong. I'm probably dying. Um, I don't think it's Route. I don't think we want another 3 drop either. I think it's probably the World Fire, world Soul Colossus, I guess. Which I don't think is, is much better than Siege Rhino. Siege Worm. <clears throat> I could have seen taking Route. We do need more two drops. I agree with that completely. Uh, Crawl Foragers is fine. It's not hyper exciting. I'm not going to play a second Pax Favor, though. I don't hate the deck. I don't like it, though. Double Runaway Steamkin. You know what? Sure. This third pack better be the Nuts Bits. It is, uh, it is not proven to be so based on this pick. It's probably just Guild Mage. The old hee-haw, caw-caw, sunset, get out of my way person. Yeah, that sounds exactly... That's, that's pretty much it. I guess we're just taking Guild Mage here. Inspired Unicorn's pretty good. We could have had double Murmuring Mystic, though. That's pretty nice. I wonder if we still take the Mystic and splash it off of, like, one island or one Demir Guild Gate. I 
Like, we don't have a lot of instants, right? How many instants do we have? Instant sorceries. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's not great. Could just be rat. Could be prey upon. I, I might just take the Golgari Guildgate here. We could have double mystic. Yeah, we don't have a lot of spells. I don't think it's mystic. There's also a watcher in this pack, which is very, very good. I'm just going to take the Guildgate here. Oh, Price of Fame is nice. So is Camaraderie. Oh, God. Mm. I have high hopes that this will come back. I'm going to take the Price of Fame. Very, very solid removal here. Lazav. Interesting. Hmm. I guess we're just taking Swarm Guild Mage? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. City Watch. Wow, these blue-black cards are utterly insane this pack. Murmuring Mystic City Watch thinks Lazav. That would have been good. I think it's just another one of these. We could actually just splash this guy again off of District Guides. <sighs> it's just a 5-4 flyer. I don't think we need it, though. We'll just take the Guild Gate. Hey, a little Burglarina. Thousand Year Storm. I don't think that's worth anything. If it was a foil, I'd take it. But we went over this yesterday, anyway. Man, I could have taken Thousand Year Storm and Lazav and went a Runaway Steam Can. I would have had, like, six more tickets. Oh, Deadly Visit. Alright, I will take another Deadly Visit. For sure. <clears throat> another Swarm Guild Mage and a Rhizome, a Rhizome Lurcher, which is actually probably pretty okay with our creature count. Uh, I don't think we need a second Swarm Guild Mage. I would like a way to get some creatures back, but I don't know if there are that many, so... This just might be our life. It also triggers a Rampaging Monument, which is good. This might be... I think we can cut one Severed Strands. We can cut this. Probably could Crawl Foragers, because I don't actually care about you. Which sounds more hurtful than it is. I am almost out of bits, bits. Okay. Just want to let you know that me and my roommate are both eating whole chickens tonight in honor of Swole Mike. To be honest, though, my roommate can down three or four if he is hungry. I'm actually going to copy that message and send it to Swole Mike so that he knows you're doing this in his honor. Hmm. I guess it's just bats. We're not going to play a third Severed Strands. We don't have a Utopia, a, an Urban Utopia yet, but I don't think we care about that either. Bats is just, it's just a flyer. It's whatever. I can see cutting Colossus. I'm not a big Colossus fan. I do like that it triggers Rampaging Monument, however. Wow. Burglar Rat came back. Prey Upon came back. I think we probably want the Burglar Rat. Especially because we have a lot of ways to um, convoke things. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have a lot of great Prey Upon targets, so I'm not too concerned with it. It's a good two drop. I also like Vapors. Yeah, I agree. Colossus is not ideal. I do like that you can make it a 4-4 four, four for 6. Like, it's got a lot of versatility. Hmm. Crawl Swarm. Okay. Yeah, crawl Foragers. Lots of Crawl things. Oh, wow. Iron Shell Beetle. Dang. That's probably better than one of the Burglar Rats. Faux Show. This is 18 creatures. We can easily cut some creatures here. Don't let the Rat Mafia hear you say that. I would never. 
All right, 25 cards. We need two cuts. We have 18 creatures. We can probably cut one of the Ledev champions. I can actually cut the Flight of Equinauts. I'm not super high on this card. Eight mana is a lot. It is a 4-5 flyer, though, which is pretty big. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are all good two drops. I like having one of each. I think it's actually flight. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so. Seems good. So we have one, two, three, four. <laughs> Four. This is nine green sources, which is fine. This is seven. This is six. Nine, seven, six. I like eight, seven, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight, seven, seven seems good. Get out of here, you loud, flappy cloud tickler. Wow. It changes its name so frequently. Unfortunately, this does not look like a 3-0 deck, but uh, we can dream. We have a lot of removal. Deadweight, Severed Strands, Deadly Visit, Deadly Visit, Price of Fame. It's not bad. We have a Bounty of Might. Lots of things to do in the late game. I think we're I think we're alright. Our deck's alright. I think two of each gate is plenty. Um I don't know. Magic's hard. Doesn't look like a 3 0 deck, 3 0. Yeah. When when the deck looks like a 3 0 deck, that's when we uh that's when we don't 3 0. So I'm sure we'll just do I'm sure we'll do just fine. Yeah, this hand's keepable. As long as we can hit a third land, famous last words, then we can play District Guide into the Ledev champion, which is nice. I might even get uh just a planes. Okay, well, that helps, I guess. Now I might just play Ledev Champion into District Guide uh, Guildgate. Mm, actually, now I want the most the creature I'm most eager to trade with, which would be District Guide. So, plus we can keep the champion for the monument next turn. Um, we do want a black. We don't have any double white, but we do have two double black cards so we definitely want a black and a green here I'll just take a Golgari Guildgate mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's trade uh, one two three Gorgon Gorgon apply directly to the forehead I kind of like waiting to play Monument first. We're definitely playing this because it's our only land. We could Burglar Rat, but I don't think that's great. I'm just going to play Gorgon. And next turn we can Monument and play this and this after that. I will block one of these dudes for sure. Oh, look at that. They got a little surveil. I'm probably just going to block and just kill all their things. I don't even care. I don't even care, man. I'm so I'm so over it. I don't really want you drawing another card. And you don't have anything on board or lands. So I think as long as we can keep you from drawing cards and playing things, I think we're okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mm 
So one, two, three. We're just going to go rat here. Might actually play Saratok instead just because it's a much bigger guy. All right, three cards to our two cards, but we have two more relevant cards on the board. And we have one less relevant card on the board now. One, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're actually one mana shy of doing all the things. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this in hand in case they have like a burglar rat of their own. There's no reason to just toss it out there now. I don't really want to lose a Ledev champion to a stray burglar rat or something. No, that's unfortunate. Oh, maybe we just get rid of it. Yeah, we probably just get rid of it. Doesn't feel great, but what are you going to do? If they want to counter it, that's fine. Like, keeping back our Siege Arm is pretty big game. Sure. I guess there's really no reason to attack. Like, having this guy on board against this guy, this guy is significantly easier to get rid of. Like, we have dead weights, we have severed strands, we have lots of things that can kill this creature. And if they're able to just trade this guy for a Siege Worm, which is a huge threat of ours, it's pretty bad. This is nice because we can play Guild Mage and keep up Ledev Champion mana. Which I'm pretty okay with. I'd also much rather trade a uh, Sea Drum for a Dark Blade Agent if they're threatening to draw a card. They have one card in hand. That seems good for us. So we can go one, two, three. District Guide for a Swamp. And then still make a a 1-1. One, one. That seems good. Unless I want a devious cover up this guy, which is actually fine. We have no cards in hand. Wow. Sure, no cards in hand. Okay. Yeah, seems good. We're both in top deck mode, I guess. Except I have two creatures on board that do things. Like, I feel like we just win this long game for sure. Like, we just get to make two twos. Oh, we just win the game. I guess having two, two token makers on board uh, is pretty good. I kind of like the other burglar rat in this matchup. I think we're actually fine though. I don't think our deck needs anything. Uh, 
definitely keeping this hand. This hand is great. is a dude probably just gonna iron shell beetle here uh, we could play swarm guild mage but being on board just doesn't do anything by itself and I'd rather wait so we have a trigger for rampaging monument mind bomber have a good night buddy Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Well, that's good. I'm is the Iron Shell Beetle worse than a random card in their hand? Probably. I just don't think it does anything on the board right now. Disdain full stroke. That would be weird because they saw barely any 5 plus cards. So I would not expect a disdain full stroke here. This is where they play uh, Doom Whisper. Discovery. Yeah, we were always planning on blocking. So I'm okay with it. So long, Swarm Guild Mage. Two cards to two cards. So let's play a district guide and we'll go get a guild gate. Got it. Nailed it. This card is just not good, in my opinion. I mean, it's good for the surveil when you have multiple Dark Blade agents, which you seem to, but even then, like. I mean, I don't know what they have with two cards, so, I mean, if we get to use a Pax Favor to kill this thing, I guess it's fine. I mean, if they want to respond by killing this, I guess it's okay. Another Dark Blade Agent, huh? Uh, pretty much just Abzan good stuff. No super bomby cards. Man, you should have saw the deck earlier with uh, Foil Varaska, Doom Whisper, Charnel Troll. 
No, oh, a devious cover up hit the graveyard. That's that's your weaker card. That's interesting. Oh, they're surveying. I'm gonna double block here. I mean, they're two for wanting us here, but like we already got value off of both of these cards, and it's it's more important for me that they don't start drawing cards with this guy. So, four, six, seven, eight lands, eight to eight looks like. <laughs> God, these dark blade agents, man. Oh, it's definitely not a trap. If you even get if you connect at least one time, it's usually fine and you're never you're usually not going to have any problem connecting once so eh, just have no reason to keep a land in hand here when your opponent has things like when your opponent could have things like disinformation campaign or burglar rat and you have one card in hand and it's a land you just might as well play it especially when you can cast everything else in your deck so chemistry's insight not bad also not bad Well, we both have one card in hand. Now I have none, though. I hope one of your cards is not a devious cover-up. You have two in the graveyard. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. We also have nine lands, so any land lets us make two guys a turn, which is very nice. So we're basically in a situation. Any land, he says. <laughs> Not that one, I guess. Capture speed. Oh, another Dark Blade agent. Okay. Well, next turn, we're making two 1 1s a turn, which is very, very strong. Nicely done, deck. Nicely done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. Just going to keep making dudes here. Uh, how much longer do I need to stay? I believe it's beginning of November. It should be. It should have been two months. So. Get a load of these. Get a load of these nerds. I feel like that's actually pretty good for us. Um, I don't think we actually need to play this when we can just make two guys a turn. So that's where that's where I am. Emo that's where I am emotionally right now. Of course this hired poisoner is pretty problematic, but I don't think we're under any pressure, so Yep. Seems good. I mean, we have multiple, we have more of these, so.
Devious cover up, disdainful stroke, sure. That's probably one of the weaker cards you could disdainful stroke, especially when we have like bounty of might and siege worms in the deck. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lands. There are four lands left in our deck. Twenty five percent of our deck is lands. Pretty low. This also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is thirteen lands. So we're two lands away from just making a bunch of dudes a turn. You know, assuming we draw another Ledev champion. I'm not going to lock with three. I mean, if you have something, it's fine. You're wasting it on a token. Otherwise, I'll just be glad I'm taking out a Whisper Agent, so. This is also a good draw. I just, fin yeah, I'm still streaming. I mean, this is my job, bro. I got to spend time doing it some days, right? I love you, dude, in case you forgot. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is YouTube. Leave a comment in the description below. In the description below? That doesn't make any sense. You can't comment in descriptions. Uh-oh, Gruesome Menagerie. Oh, Deadly Visit on that guy? Okay. They also have seven cards left in their deck. That's fascinating. They put both on top. Ooh, gross. In before Doom Whisper on the top of your deck. Do you have a third devious cover-up? No. Fascinating. Well, let's see what you got. Demir Informant. Okay. Well, we're doing the things. Oh, we just win the match. All right. That's cool, I guess. I hear they're just like, I don't have four more win conditions in my deck. Yeah, that's pretty good. It makes me almost want the, Ledev, uh, the other Ledev champion in here. Card's good. Good card is good. I think we're okay, though. We also have a Conclave Guild Mage, so I don't think we need three different token makers in our deck. Eh, this hand's actually just fine. <laughs> uh, I like Saratok a lot. Being a 4-3 is, is pretty good. Being a 2-2 two -two is, is not as good. I think Saratok is... I think I, don't, I wouldn't say it's underrated. I just think it's it's it fulfills a, a role that I'm okay with. Forest... Or another thing. Perfect. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not going to block you. You can Yikes. This is actually fine. We're going to double block here. Swamp off the top so I can get rid of this Boros Challenger. How are you going to do me dirty? How are you going to do me that dirty, Magic Online? How are you going to do me that dirty? We could play this and nothing else. Or we can play Lurcher as a 3-3, three, three, which does block here. And then we can double block here. Or we can just make a 1-1. One, one. I like making a 1-1 one, one because next turn we can play both of these. And we're likely going to double block on the boar, maybe. They also have three cards in hand, which I think we should be able to dispatch. Or 
Or we can just make a 1-1 one, one and chump block, which is also fine. Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't think we're going to trade a little dev champion for this guy. Sure. Looking for a black mana here. One, two, three, four. Larcher. I want to play Shieldmate because I'd rather the Shieldmate die. I'd rather you die, Shieldmate, which sounds very sad. But it's true. Oh, you just pump this guy to pump this guy? Okay. And I assume you're not going to have take heart, because why would you have take heart? These are my blocks. Waiting for the blowout. Oh my god, they never don't have it. It's actually unbelievable. Yep, that's that's a good one. That's a solid draw. Second black would be good here. Never don't have it. These two are a nice combo because this guy can pump this guy. And then you can pump this guy next turn. He'll be a 4-5, so then he'll mentor onto this guy. And then when this is a 4-5, it can mentor onto the 3-4. And then you can pump the 3-4, which is now a 4-5, into a 5-6. Then you can pump onto this guy. There's a nice little combo there. I guess we're just taking 6. I doubt you're pumping. Are you pumping? Wow. Go to 3. Guess because this guy's lethal in the air. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Seems good. I'm actually going to bring in the other burglar rat. Uh, Crawl Foragers actually seem pretty okay here just for the life gain and the, the board stabilization, etc. I'm going to take the beetle out. I'll bring in the burglar rat. Uh, take out... I'll take out the Lurcher for the Forager. I kind of like Crushing Canopy as well, just because it kills their problematic flyers. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, champion is too slow, which is why I took one of them out. I think the other one is still fine. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. Any land means we get to district guide. And we have three plays before that. A couple of biggie flyers. We only have one flyer in the sideboard. It's not like we're... It's not like we got a bunch of flyers we're just leaving out. Also, I'm not going to put an 8-mana card in against Boros. That just seems not ideal. I mean, if you're if you're talking about the token generators being a bit slow, at least they're 2-2s two for 2 and 2-2 and two two for 3, which are both very, very solid stats, as opposed to a an 8-mana flyer, which is not ideal. But what can you do? Double red, huh? 
Oh, isn't that cute? Land? Oh boy, you're good. I guess we're just gonna attack. Oh, the bat. Yeah, the bat makes sense. But I mean, like, it's so, like, a 3 1 is so easy for them to just not care about. I'm actually going to get another Golgari Guild Gate here because we want double green and double black. So I can't imagine getting a swamp here. I also can't imagine just getting a forest when we got stuck on Deadly Visit last game. Huh. I guess we're just taking this because they're, I mean, this is just a desperation move. They're just stuck on lands here, so. Talking about my desperation. But now we can keep up Pax Favor, so that seems good. I mean, if we double block and we try to pack favor, though, they're going to kill it, so they're going to going to get a blowout here. I'm just going to take two. Like, what kind of sound does Yargle make? You guys making me make sounds is really one of the best parts of this stream, I think. I, like, I want to keep Price of Family, but then they just sack their guy and kill one of our dudes, which is really sad. Which means we probably, if we did that, one, two, three, four, we'd have one, two. I actually don't think we care, to be quite honest. We can just play another dude, and then we have Lethal on board, and if they try to kill one of our guys, we just pack favorites. So I think we're actually just fine here. Basically dead. Got him. I'd rather them know at Price of Fame because it's just a removal spell than Pax Favor, which is a trick, so. Yargles come from a can. They <laughs> oh my god. Why is that a thing? They were put there by a man in a factory on Dominaria. I'll keep this hand. And if I had my little way, I'd play Yargles every day. You sang it, you made it a thing. Well, yeah. Do I just kill this idiot? Probably. Death to all the idiots. I like rat here, make them discard. Oh, did I miss land drop again? Oh, we didn't? Oh, man, we hit a good one. Moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of yargles. Is that... is that a thing? If I had my little way, I'd eat Yargles every day. What does that even mean? I wish I had a land drop here. 
I wish it was a, a, a green so I could play this guy and then next turn play this guy. But alas, magic doesn't care about your, your desires. Why are you eating the Yargles? That's a good question. Um, I, you know, I don't know. Moving to the ju ju I'm gonna ju do ba do 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 You got it. Okay, now we're the ones stuck on land. That's good stuff. That is good things. Welp. See you later. Look how aggressive they're getting. Oh, I'm going to be aggr aggressively aggressive. This guy's more annoying to me. It's actually a fine trade. I'm very okay with that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Green would be good here. White would go. Oh, white is what I meant, but I'll take I'll take that guy. Are we too far behind? I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> sure. Pigeons come from a can. They were put there by a man. This match is pretty close. Would have liked to play this guy instead and then play this guy. What is your favorite Yargo recipe? I'm asking for a friend. Uh, I can't give away my Yargo recipes. They've been passed down through uh, through through the ages. Seems good. In a factory downtown. I guess we're just gonna kill this. Hopefully we'll get two things to block this guy and they don't have sure strike. I guess that's what we're hoping for. That's a good one. Okay. Put this on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that in the graveyard. Yes. All right. Yes. If we can dodge one turn, we get to gain one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, my God. Yes. We get to just go up to seven here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's a that's a real switcheroo, isn't it? Hopefully there's another crawl forager right on the top. 
I mean, if they're playing a Boros deck and they didn't play anything last turn, that's pretty okay. That's a good that's a good one, but they don't have a six yet, so that's nice. I guess we're just attacking here. And they tap our guy. Or they kill it. But with Bounty of Might and Pax Favor in hand, I feel like we can't really be... Crater Maker? Thinking about it. I don't want to play Siege Room because then they can just tap it down with this guy. But it might have been better. But getting this guy off the board is also fine, because then if they want to attack with this, we can do some damage. Yep, had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, they have the six now. So they can play a guy, deal us... Oh, I'll just deal us four, and then we're just dead on board. That's pretty good. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can deal 13 damage here. If we use this last turn, we could have dealt them... We could be at 15... So they'd be too shy of just killing them. I mean, if we played Siege Rhino... Yeah, we probably should have just taken the turn off and played Siege Rhino. I don't know. Yeah, we're just dead here. This is pretty dumb. Alright, whatever. What can you do? Yep, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Yeah. <sighs> Legion Guild Mage is a good one. the sands of keeper couple of these two jobbies three jobby play this first because if we draw land land we can we just want to play this and this and keep this guy to trigger this guy so I am uh, not in the impression we are going to draw lands but you know just in case <sighs> good at this game
I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not opposed to killing this guy with the severed strands, but I'm not I'm not usually excited about it. Mm. Mm. I mean, we are in good shape to just... I think you know my friend Justin. I do know Justin. Discard a card. What's it gonna be? Probably Monument at this point. That guy sucks. That card sucks. Nice. I doubt they're going to block here, right? They're probably going to block. They don't want to take no six. Monument thinks you suck too. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, they just took six there? I'm impressed. A bold strategy, Cotton. I guess I'll use a green here. You better run, you better do what you can. Don't want to craft those plagues, you better hit the bin. Plague crafter. Can I get some lands here? I guess not. Seventeen lands, two district guides, and we keep getting stuck on land. It's kind of amazing. Oh, Jesus, come on. Whatever. Severed strands that dude back to the Stone Age is what we're doing. Actually, do we just play Siege Room here and not actually care about it? Because next turn we'll get to Severed Strands it. I mean, I think we can take the hit. There's also the possibility that we draw land and we can deadly visit it, which is better for the attack. Any 3 O's today? No. Our first draft was a 2-1. Doom Whisper number two. Second Doom Whisper. Deadly visit. Burglar Rat. Get rid, of, get rid of Deadly Visit, I guess, because we might not hit a land, whereas... Holy shit, are you serious right now? That is absolutely mind-blowing. Wow, it's aggressive. <laughs> I 
And then we hit the fifth land. Pretty, pretty unbelievable. Sure. This is also the third match uh, today that has had... I mean, we our deck... This is the third deck I've seen today, including our own, that has had Doom Whisper in it. Which is pretty unbelievable. Can Siege Worm talk? You know, maybe. This is a significant amount of surveilling that's happening right now. Yeah, that's actually pretty insane. If this guy survives, I think we're... Well, I can't counter that, so... That guy's definitely a favorite. <laughs> Giving our board menace and plus O means any, any two creatures that get through are going to be lethal. You can see me sit up, I'm like, oh, now we got a game. All right, let's see what happens. Have you played any more quad pooplicate Drake poopy decks? No. no. That would be really weird if I had. If we get to untap with Swarm Guild Mage, I'm going to be really impressed. Oh, no. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, which means they need two, four, six, eight. I, I don't, even if these two get through, it's four. So they have to need two, four, six, eight blockers, 10 blockers. We just have no incentive to keep lands in hand is really the thing, so. There's definitely an argument to be made that we could have gone to combat first. All right, let's see what happens. Also, this guy's lethal, this guy's lethal on its own. Oh, man, we just win the game. I have no idea what just happened there. I have no idea how we won that game. Wow. All right. Crushing Canopy, you're definitely coming in. Good lord. A lot of discardy happening. Uh, I'll take out the Beetle to bring in the Burler Rat. Doom Whisper is just such a brutal beating. And like when they were able to play it, and we're like, okay, we'll take one turn off. What's the worst that can happen? And then the worst that can happen is actually to make us discard both of our removal spells. It's pretty brutal. I think the other champion's probably better than like a pitiless gorgon here. Swami boy, swami boy. At least we have chicken. That's a good meme. I also got a 41. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand for sure. Doom Whisper. Man, what a beating.
Their deck is very good. Let's get another Golgari Guildgate here so we can play that next turn along with a 3 drop. Yep, that's actually fine. Can't get enough of that cookie crisp, golden crisp, no cookie crisp. No, oh, all right, so now we're done. Yeah, that's actually fine. We want this guy on the board. Yeah, we'll play Guildgate that they know about. Pretty sure we can just discard this other Guildgate, especially with the District Guide in hand. If they play Doom Whisper, it's great because we have Crushing Canopy, so... They can also make this dude absolutely humongous here. Actually, we can go, we can go crushing canopy and severed strands next turn if we hit a basic. That's pretty good. No blocks. We did not hit a basic. Press the spaghetti button? Somebody touch my spaghetti! Uh, do I have a musical genre I don't like? Country? Not a big country fan. I like old country, like classic 60s, 60s, 50s, 40s country. Um, modern country is pretty bad, though. So they're at 7. This is a 5-5. Five, five. We have Crushing Canopy, which is great. They're going to make us discard. We'll discard District Guide. Okay, that's actually fine. Not a thing I'm super concerned with. They're probably not attacking here because they're at 7. Everix, have a good night, buddy. Yep, that's fine. Ritual of Soot would be amazing here. Don't have Ritual of Soot. It's a rare. Okay, give me your locket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This guy's just a 3 3 now. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can also make guys every turn now, which is nice. Yeah, this is just fine. I guess we just go wide here. I want to make a guy, though. Probably make a guy attack with both of these dudes. The thing is, they're going to play... Um, they're going to play... 
what's the card? Uh, disinformation campaign. So I might as well just empty our hand. I wish I had one more mana, because then we could use the Trample from the Guild Mage. So if we go make attack with this guy, I guess we could make a guy with you. Pump, pump. So it's four, they block, they still take three. It's just better mana use. Eh, whatever. I don't, you know what, it's fine. Oh, we just won the game. All right. That'll do. Not too shabby for our uh, Abzan No Bombs deck. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe, like and like and subscribe buttons. Smash those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And if you're looking for any uh, micro modal super soft underwear, you can check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You will get a 15% discount along with free shipping and free returns. And, uh, Helps me, helps you, everybody wins. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate the support. I will catch you guys next time.